Okay, I have just sprayed and brushed this thing off. I didn't use the air compressor on it, so I want to kind of start tearing it down here and seeing what we've got going on. Well, that screw does not feel happy coming out of there at all. I think this rocker cover is really going to be kind of set back and damaged because of the impact. I'm not even sure if this head is going to be any good. To be honest with you, I mean, I'm having a hard time just these screws are seem to be bent or just under a lot of tension there. Let me try and zoom in on this rocker cover here. You can see the impact there. I thought it looked like it was breached. It does look like it might have a crack. Either way, it's pretty damaged. Wow, this thing's wow. There's a bunch of dirt, yeah, or some mud jammed in there. A lot of dirt. <clears throat> the kicker is gonna be well, I got no movement in these rockers whatsoever. So I don't know how long ago this thing was in a crash. But the real interesting thing is gonna be actually going to be able to get those pins out. Yeah, those rocker arms aren't coming off until the head comes off. They're so jammed in there. <coughs> I have a feeling those things are destroyed. This engine is in pretty bad shape here, it looks like. Intake manifold gasket sheared. Man, this thing took a serious, serious impact. Dirt coming off of this thing. Okay. Doesn't look too too bad on the inside. Let's see if we're gonna have any issues getting these guys. These are going to require some heat to get those loosened up. So I think I left off on this engine with trying to get the head screws out. And unfortunately, I don't know if it was just due to the impact, age, time, what. I'm not sure. But I was not able to loosen any of those head screws at all. They were all so tight I tried heat several times with oil and all I succeeded in doing was begin to strip the heads out. So I contacted the owner and I asked him, told him basically what the situation was and asked if I could just go ahead and cut these heads off. So what I ended up having to do is I cut the head off of this screw and this screw. These, as soon as I started to cut the slot in them, the vibration of the cutting must have loosened them up enough so I could actually get my wrench in there and unscrew those. This one went 90% through before I saw it kind of start to move a little bit, so I just unscrewed it the rest of the way. This one was the head was cut off and I was in the process of completely grinding it down and I saw it start to move. So this one here, I'm going to very carefully try to continue unthreading without cutting myself. But I've never, ever had to cut four heads on a Sato engine before. So I don't understand that. So there you are. There's that head. So this engine's going to need some new heads, first of all. Also in the process of doing that, I managed to loosen up one of these push rods. But let's just go ahead and take the 
this head off. Let's just set the head aside for now. I'm just hoping that this crankshaft isn't bent due to the the look of the impact just looks tremendous to continue tearing this engine down. So here we go. These screws are good. They survived. Oh, wow. That. Let's see if uh, those cam followers will want to come out. Now I'll disassemble that at a later time. I'll take care of that at another time. Let's go ahead and do this here. Let's pull this out. So I'm trying to see if this <coughs> push rod is bent. Should really be rolling it on my piece of glass, but damn, what is all this black hair on this thing? I didn't know Black Knight or Gold Knight engines came with hair on them. Well, that push rod to me looks like it's okay. Like I said, I'll put it on my piece of glass. This is the one I'm really worried about. Ugh. Yeah. This one I don't think is, it's not even coming out of there. So clearly this one is bent. Hmm. Maybe it's not. Maybe these push rods are okay. Maybe they, these things, these push rod covers just bent to the point of pinching those things but not actually bending them. So this is a good thing. That's slightly less expense for the owner to put into this engine. Okay, so the push rods are good. I'm happy with that. that that's cool. Tubes are toast. Let's uh, let's pull this piston out and see about how much runtime this engine has. Holy shit! Look at this. This engine doesn't have a whole lot of runtime at all. Although, what do I feel on the top here? Just feel some roughness there. So anyway, that looks okay. We're good here. Our ring is not compressed. I just just feel something on the top of that. Let's look inside here. Okay. I think we're alright. Let's uh, get a close-up here for the customer and show them the damage I did in trying to grind these heads off. Obviously nothing there, nothing there. A little bit here. That was the head I actually had to grind down pretty good. So now the next question for the customer to answer is, are we just gonna strip the paint or what? That's not for me to answer. Okay, so I got quite a bit of tension on that. So what I'm gonna have to do now is go drop some heat or drop some oil on this, heat it up. Mm. And then hopefully the heat and oil will just want to make it pop loose. Okay, as I hoped, it did work out that way. I just uh, I take this stuff out in the garage to do a lot of this stuff. I basically had my battery terminal puller on there and I I put a lot of tension on it and I just kept heating it up and finally it snapped like <coughs> a kernel of corn. From there on it was just a matter of tapping out the bearings. It's funny because this rear bearing is a shielded bearing on both sides, which is kind of odd. Anyway, so crankcase, a little dirty. Um, okay, so here's the Sato 72. It's been completely disassembled and gone through and been cleaned. I'm currently waiting to see if the owner wants to keep it as a Black Knight or not, or Gold Knight, I should say, I'm sorry a gold knight engine or if I'm supposed to uh, strip the paint off of it but uh, let's see here this rocker cover this is the one that was damaged and you can see I think you can see that there is a breach it is damaged and cracked there so that's really besides that and the push rod tubes that's the biggest amount of damage everything else looks really good this thing uh, piston I was saying it felt kind of weird it still kind of feels a little weird but it didn't have this engine didn't look like it had much runtime on it at all and if you remember that car or the uh, exhaust the muffler this is what it looks like now so this sat in 
I put it through probably an hour's ultrasonic bath and then I just let it sit in some LA's totally awesome cleaner overnight and I put it in the bath again and I've been scrubbing it with a brass brush and this is probably about as good as it's gonna get I mean it was black it looks a lot better though so I'm kind of in a holding pattern here waiting to determine to find out if I'm gonna be stripping the black paint off but uh, I've got the bearings so I could actually put bearings in this crankcase if I knew what I, uh, the direction I was going to go with this. Uh, I need the gasket set, the pushrod covers, that type of thing. So there's a, only a few things that I would need to do. But this will be the end of the video until I get it fully assembled and it's ready to run.